Is there some good breakfast being eaten? Nelly, Nellyan cakes look great that you've foot. made. Stupid foot. Stupid foot. Tell me about these cakes that you've made out of Play Doh. Smelly foot. Smelly foot. Smelly foot. Yeah, right. Uh, Simon drove us from Wolverhampton down to Oxford and we had a great night in the um, in Soho House Farmhouse. Unfortunately, we couldn't film in there at all. They don't allow yet. But it was great to catch up with the guys. It was good for Simon to see them. But uh, we drove back. We got to Wolverhampton at about probably one o'clock in the morning, half one in the morning. And uh, I said goodbye to Simon. He asked me if I wanted to stay over the night. And I thought, no, I'll drive back. There's... Uh, there's nothing on the road, you know, at one o'clock in the morning on a Thursday. So uh, I took off, winding down the windy roads, just about to get on the motorway. And the police stopped me. The weather was getting worse. They said, if you come and sit in the back of the van with us. Half an hour later, I'm still sitting in the back of the van. It's now like nearly two o'clock, 10 to two, it was in the morning. I had to phone Laura. So um, they said, have you been drinking? I said, uh, yeah, have a drink, it's no problem. Breathalyzer was all, all fine, so I'd only had the one. And uh, they said, your van is insured. I was like, it is insured, I assure you, it is insured. And uh, they're checking on this system, couldn't find it. And I was like, I know it's insured, I know for sure. But we have insurances for the van, for the car, for the dog, for the houses, all the properties, the work and public liability, employees liability, we got, we're insured up to our eyeballs. But I didn't know the name of the company and they couldn't find it on their system. Anyway, I had to phone Laura up at 10 to two in the morning. She's going through our main computer because I said, it might be my PA who's, who's got the policy for me. She couldn't find it. Laura spent about 15 minutes going through Jen's emails, going through Darlene's emails, could not find it. Police said we're going to have to confiscate, <laughs> seize the vehicle, and get it compounded. Leave me at the road <laughs> at like silly o'clock in the morning. Weather was poor. My battery was running out on my phone. Anyway, we remembered this had these number plates on. These have had these on for a couple of years since I bought it, and it was just in lockdown time when nobody was working. And I applied to put my private plates on there. Mr. DIY, and we actually had a response from from the. Um, oh, that needs two of them in there. Don't go in the same one. I'll have to redrill these, unfortunately. We had a response from the DVLA to say, unfortunately, due to staff shortages, this, that, and the other, uh, that these things won't be addressed just yet. So we forgot about it, and we never ever received a letter from the DVLA to tell me that this van is now registered with my cool. Mr. DIY plates, which are a bit dusty. These were on my other old Mercedes Sprinter van for about 10 years. So I've been driving around for the last two years with the wrong bumper <laughs> plates on, <laughs> unbeknown to me. And then, uh, yeah, please stop me. Did a search and couldn't find insurance. And then as soon as we typed that into their system, they were like, yeah, there it is. Blah, 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 all covered, no problem. I said goodbye. I finally got out their vehicle about half two in the morning, then I had to drive back to Liverpool. It was about four o'clock in the morning, so I'm knackered today. So I've dug these out the garage, but these have got four holes in them. This has only got the one in there, so I'm going to have to re refix these, drill some holes in them. So what I'm going to do is, there's a little tip for you, place that one on top as a template, and there is your hole where it's got to be drilled. <laughs> so I'll keep that one in there and make sure that one perfect so now that 
secured, fit, how dirty this is. Through there, little bolts bite into that. And hopefully, this side should bite into there. Yep. Put these on. Now they're on, I'm going to race over to Liverpool, see one of my builders at our rented properties and meet a few new tenants, see what condition the apartments are in. So going for a meeting now about the Grand Design Show in London, going over to see Steve at the Fireplace Factory. I'm going to be there at his exhibit for I think the full eight or nine days the show's on. But we are building uh, various different kind of uh, fireplaces basically for display in there. And we're going to be doing a new video one. So this morning I'm going over to meet their new marketing director, Hayley. Yeah, it's quite exciting. I'm looking forward to uh, doing another another build video in the workshop. Just running around here. Just see you through the window on there. <laughs> How'd you work out? <laughs> I can hear you breathing. Tried these new machines, literally, I thought my art. Which, what have you been on this one? Both of them. Okay. Looks good, doesn't it? I thought my heart was going to explode on both. Especially on <laughs> On the treadmills. Do you know what I think it is? What? I think it's Steve's secret plan. He doesn't want to pay you. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's Steve. Your secret plan. Want to you Laura wants me to. Uh, well, Laura thinks she wants me to have a heart attack on this, so you don't have to pay us for any videos. <laughs> Landed at Oterra, so that's my block. Needs a fair bit of maintenance. I've got a couple of lads in a few of the apartments there with it being empty. A couple of them are empty, should I say? Um, they'll be ready to rent out in a few weeks. If anyone's interested, let me know. So we've arrived in one of our small apartments. It's empty here at the moment. But we've got a new tenant wanting to move in it from next door. But she wants the kitchen altering, changed around. However, this stud wall here, which there was a little downstairs bedroom in here. <laughs> uh, she's wanting that taken out to extend the living room in here. So we're just working out whether it's worth doing it or not. I'm too good to be tense, bloody hell. Yeah, uh, because they have the outside area there then. Ooh. And then I pop in one of the other flats next door, and who did we find? Only Johnny G's here. He's here. But well, he's leaving us soon. He's off. Where are you off again when he travels next? Uh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. <laughs> it's classified. He could tell us, but he'd have to kill us. <laughs> mm, quite exciting. We've had this new Roland live kind of mixing desk. Uh, we bought it about a year ago, but we haven't actually set it up yet. And a new sound recording system that we've um, we've been trying out because we have actually got a couple of um, blogs to shoot uh, next week as well. So uh, my old mate Pete Price is coming up uh, to our house uh, next week. So we're going. Uh, he wants to do a blog with me for his radio side of things, and I thought, well, we'll film it and we'll create a video blog from it as well for our YouTube. So 
we'll just kind of get this live mixer and things set up guys uh, it's about an hour on it today to get it up and running exciting <laughs> even more exciting look what laura has just brought me in nice nice little bottle bobble here bottle <laughs> glass of fish should i say not a bottle so a nice wind down to the end of the day the kids are bathed both in bed and it's uh, well, just here at seven o'clock, just getting dark. Result, brilliant. So I'm taking dog for a little walk. Laura didn't get a chance to earlier today, so I'm out and about. And the weather is just like getting so much better. It's great, getting warm now, which I'm uh, pleased about. Come on, spring, roll on, spring. But I'm saying, want the weather to be good next week uh, i'm away for uh, just four days on a little skiing trip with the boys uh course Chevelle we're going to so exciting times a little bit nervous though from being honest because <clears throat> i haven't been on the snow for like five years now and uh basically yeah a bit rusty a bit rusty to say the least oh, the state of our our road look at that we live on a unadopted like street so it's a private road it's good because it doesn't get much traffic down here however the council doesn't maintain it so we're all right down by our end we've got tarmac and things down on ours night but that concrete around the bottom of our our actual drive on the entrance in but the other end of the road <laughs> literally it's like this potholes everywhere so if you haven't got your range rover you're in trouble <laughs> 